Well, welcome to uh, question one from the end of uh, chapter 14, Fundamentals of um, Particle Technology, which is a question all about grade efficiency. And grade efficiency is conventionally defined as the amount or proportion entering the, uh, the fine product of a classifier. So uh, we're going to go with that definition. It's not always the best definition to use. Sometimes clearly people are interested in removing material um, and in those circumstances you might want to redefine great efficiency as uh, amount of material going into the coarse product or reject. So you have to be a little bit careful with great efficiency. It can mean different things to different people. When you have a look at the values that great efficiency uh, throw up, it should become apparent how it's been calculated. Anyway, this is 1100 kilograms of a powder that's going into a, a, a classifier. So that's a, a device to simply cut the feed into two. So there'll be a, a, an overflow and an underflow coming out of the classifier. But this is a gas system, not a, a liquid system. Uh, the fine product, what I've just called the overflow, is 583 kilograms of that 1100 kilograms and by inference obviously the coarse product from the classifier will be 1100 kilograms minus 583. Um, it doesn't say what the time basis is but we can obviously assume that the time basis for this 1100 kilograms being fed and the 583 kilograms being recovered in the fine product is, is the same. Uh, as far as the great efficiency is concerned, we don't need that time basis so long as we are talking about the same time interval. Um, OK, the cumulative undersize particle distribution. Cumulative undersize particle distributions. So that's the data that we have just here. It's a, a sieve analysis, so they're uh, weight distributions, uh, N3x by our normal method of uh, representing them and uh, also in this table we have the particle diameter so we've got the particle diameter which would be really the sieve size uh, then we have the weight percentage under size um, of the feed material and in the next column the fine material okay so by way of example this 98.2 percent of the distribution is less than 850 microns. In other words we've got a little bit of material. 1.8 percent of the distribution is in fact greater than 850 microns. It's not in the table though because we don't need it because what we're really interested in is what's over here, this grade efficiency. And if you look very carefully you might see that we've got three rows which are slightly grayed and the idea is to calculate these values. The other values have been calculated um, for the reader. So let's concentrate on the first row that we have to complete. Although the grade efficiency here is uh, obvious, I'll show you why that's obvious in a moment, but let's do it mechanically. Let's actually calculate it. We know that if we're interested in the amount of material just here, this size range, and this size range is going to represent the material between 850 and 600 microns, we know that 98.2 of this 1100 kilograms, you know, the material that was fed into the classifier, 98.2% of it is less than 850, 95.5% of it is less than uh, 600 microns, so the difference between the two is clearly the difference between these two values which is 2.7%. So in other words, in terms of the mass of the feed in that size range here, the mass of the feed is 2.7% of our 1100 kilograms up here. So I've got my basic calculator again, so let's work this one out. So we need 0 0.0, uh, oh it's 2.7%, so we want 0 0.027. 
uh, times by 1100. 1100. That gives us 29.7. So the mass in the feed is 29.7. That's what's going into the classifier. Now, we know that from this data here, 100% is less than 600 microns. So, in, so considering this grade between 600 microns and 850, the mass in the fines is actually going to be zero. The classifier's done a good job. It's removed everything above 600 microns. So in terms of the fraction of material going into the fines, We've got naught divided by 29.7, so clearly that's naught percent. That's what I mean by it's fairly obvious what that value will be. Looking at that 100% just there, that automatically meant that we're going to get naught, but we were told to work it out, so we have done. Let's do a more complicated one. The gap between 210 microns and 150 microns, which is, well, 75% of the 1100 kilograms passes to 10 microns, 47.7% passes 150 microns, so the difference between these two is 27.3%. Okay, 27.3%, that's the difference between these two. So 27.3% of our 1100 kilograms, back to this value here again, is what we looking for in terms of the mass that's in this grade. grade. So 27.3, so that's 0.273 times by 1100 equals 300.3, uh, quite a lot. So that actually is the most of it, 300 point three kilograms in that size range between 150 microns and 210 microns. Now what about the fines? In the fines we're talking about a difference of uh, 92.6 to 71 which is 21.6. Uh, that takes us, yeah 21.6 because that would be 92.6. 21.6. Okay, so 21.6 is 0.216 times by 583 in this case, because this is what the fines total mass is, it's just here. So uh, 583, so that's uh, times by 583 equals 125.9 125.9 so if we divide this 125.9 by 300.3 divided by 300.3 gives us a great efficiency of 42 percent so and all the other values in this table have been calculated the same sort of way by, by taking the difference between the uh, percentages of the feed values, the percentages of the fine values and using the differences multiplied either by 1100 for the feed material or 583 for the fines material. So let's come down to the more, most interesting one, which is just here, the last, the last row. 1.8% uh, of the distribution, feed distribution, is less than 53 microns. Okay, because don't forget we've got zero here. So what is 1.8% 1 of 1100? So we need 0 0.018 times by 1100. That gives us 19.8 19.8 kilograms. And what about the fines? In this case, we've got 3.4% of 583. So that's 0 
times by 583, which, surprise, surprise, is 19.8. So all the solids, 19.8 kilograms of solids, less than 53 microns, go into this classifier. So if we just draw it here, let's just call it C for classifier. There's material coming off the top, which would be the fines. Material coming down the bottom, which will be uh, the coarse material. There's a total of 583 kilograms coming out for every 1,100 kilograms going in. And in our case of the minus 53 microns, of the material between 53 microns and zero, we've got 19.8 kilograms coming in and 19.8 kilograms going out, all of it going out in that fine cut. So as we're defining grade efficiency as the proportion going into the fine cut, that's 100%. Okay, good. Well, the question asks for the separation size. So we need to obviously draw a graph. Um, do we need to review anything else? Well, just to point out that grade efficiency is getting higher with the smaller sizes, as you'd expect, because more and more of the fine material is going into the fine cut. So this is the fine cut. Whoops, I see that's uh, disappearing under me. Um, OK. If I can just bring that down a little bit. OK, so in a classifier, you'll have a fine cut and obviously the alternative is a coarse cut. So that's a, a coarse cut. That's what we'll call them, coarse cut and a fine cut. Um, OK, and it would be possible to define it as being proportion material going into the course, but for a classifier we don't tend to do that. For something like a filter we might want to do that because the efficiency is how easy or how effective it is at removing particles. Okay, so we're expecting a graph that looks a little bit like this. Here are our values again. Um, these are the three rows that we've just completed, uh, the 29.7 because it's the difference between the um, percentages as we just calculated on the, on the calculator there. Um, when we come to plot the graph though, there's another step to go through because you have to decide how you're going to plot the graph and you'll see that this graph is in fact plotted using the mid-sizes which wasn't on the, the previous um, picture that I showed, because you have to try and think, how are you going to represent these size grades, the 600 to 850 size grades? If you want to consider weight undersize or mass undersize, that's not a problem. You know, that's how it was sieved. However, we want to represent the size grade not as a boundary, and perhaps the best way of representing the grade is actually a midpoint. So these midpoints are simply the two values added together and divided by two. So we're representing the grade, uh, top grade is 725 microns, the average of these two sizes, and the grade efficiency is zero at, that, at these big particle size. We can see that uh, in the graph here, that's zero. Um, and eventually we go up as the particle size comes down, so the grade efficiency is 100% at the smallest size. Well, the separation size is the 50% value, and that's really just a, a, an observational value. If we look at the 50% value on the grade efficiency curve, that comes out to be a value of 164. So conventionally, we would possibly say that this classifier separates at 164 microns. In other words, half the material goes into the fine cut, the other half the material goes into the coarse cut at 164 microns. It's a funny terminology really because 
uh, if that's the case, then that's classifier isn't separating material. It just goes straight through at that size, it's split 50-50. Uh, any coarser than 164, there's a tendency for it to go into the coarse cut. Any finer than 164 coming into the classifier, there's a tendency for it to go into the fine cut. But if you're looking for a single value to describe the classifier, then it's the separation size, which is 164. But by no means is it a step function where everything less than 164 goes into the fine cut and everything greater than 164 goes into the coarse cut. That's where the confusion arises. It's not a step function, it's this smooth curve here, uh, where we can say there's nothing in the fine cut less than maybe 53 microns. OK, so that's a grade efficiency calculation based on uh, sieve size data as it happens and the separation size of the uh, of the curve okay bye